Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Fulton Street Beats. I want to go back over this guitar because it's been a long time, and honestly, I kind of forgot about it. Um, and I don't know why, because it's an amazing guitar. Now this, look at this thing. This is cool, right? Everybody's like, wow, look at that. Yeah, this is a jazz box. This was a, a seven-string guitar. This is a build um, that I did. And this kit was by Guitar Kit World. Um, and so far, knock on wood, every kit that I've gotten from them has been outstanding. This is a freaking awesome playing guitar. Really awesome. Um and I had my doubts on this because, I mean, we got this big, fat, I mean, this is a big, fat guitar with a big, fat neck. Look, I mean, look, look at this. Do you want to get up on these high notes? You're struggling. You're coming up and over the top. But it's so cool. It's just, I wanted to build this with an, you know, a, like a 1930s, late 30s vibe. You know what I mean? I wanted that vibe, and I think I come across it without relicking it, just giving it that raw look and look at this thing isn't that crazy and i you know, it's distressed a little bit but not bad i did put locking tuners on it they're geikers now as far as electronic go these are stock i will never uh, this is something i won't upgrade because they sound so these these pickups not only are they very articulate um but the the metal this thing can do is outstanding it kind of is weird to look at it does something to the mind when you when you play metal with this guitar because it is a seven string but the blues that it plays is just so oh i love it so i'm gonna play a little bit of blues for you with this guitar and look at this abalone inlays on this i'm gonna get you in here it's abalone i mean isn't that isn't that nice um now i did take a couple liberties i did put my own headstock logo it says Fulton Street Beats, jazz box on it. Uh, of course, I did do the locking tuners. They're custom locking tuners. And I did um, do this little poker chip around here. Um, other than that, as far as I remember, except for this little, these brass pieces right here, this brass look tail tailpiece um, adjusters in the gold, they're just little highlights that I thought made it look pretty old school. Um but the seven string aspect of this is so cool because I'm going to play something. Hopefully it conveys. Isn't that crazy? The action is super, super low on this. Now, I mean, I wasn't expecting it to be this cool, but what a stout neck. Um, I didn't have to adjust the truss rod on this either. I, when I put this in and I, and I was like, wow, and the fret works really, really good. Um, but it's nerve wracking doing a set neck in a st in this style guitar because well I mean it's a it's a hollow body I mean it's a hollow body guitar but you got to get used to a seven string and definitely got to get used to it um, so low string is tuned to A so man but so cool such a cool guitar. So without any further ado, let's get into that. What's I forget what this thing ran. I'll try to leave a link in the description if they still have them. Um, but Guitar Kit World, yeah, they always blow my mind when I get a kit. And the thing is this, you have to put the work into it. I mean, it's only going to be as good as you are in the end. Um, they're kits. They're not ready to play. Um, you're going to have to adjust things. You're going to have to mostly, for the most part, adjust your necks. Your, although I didn't have to on this one, but most of them you do. A lot of them you have to do fret work too. They're kits. These aren't guitars that you think, oh, it's like a model and it's a snap together and you're going to play with it afterwards. No, this is a kit. It's it. They're made to give you the opportunity to learn how to build a guitar, set up a guitar, and do it right. And if you're a first-timer, you'll quickly realize that there's things that you just thought that you knew, but you probably didn't. And um, with a hollow body, it was no exception. What's really nice about this is I didn't have to scrape the binding, though. That was pretty cool. And I, love, I just love this color. I think it just turned out so old-school looking. I mean, but it doesn't look great. I just, I love it. I love it. I love everything about this. We'll get you in the back again. Isn't that great? It's a sexy guitar. A little relic in the back, a little beat up on the back. Look like it's been around for a few years, but at the same time, beautiful. And that's what I was going for. So if you could, hit that like button, share, and subscribe. And here's that track. This blends nicely. I think this is a great sounding guitar. And what I'm going to use, I'm just going to play with this microphone right here. I'll put it over next to the amp and 
I'm using my web webcam, so I'm not going to run this through my DAW. And just just to show you how clean it sounds, no matter what you do, this guitar is a great sounding guitar. Okay, guys, here it is. I'll see you soon. Hit that like button, share, and subscribe. And remember, it's rock and roll that makes the world go round. Peace.